Is the future of the housing market bleak? With skyrocketing prices, dwindling supply and unaffordable mortgages, it's a question on everyone's mind. Today, we'll explore the root causes, consequences and possible solutions to the housing crisis. Let's dive in. The housing crisis has been an ongoing issue for many years and has been caused by a variety of economical, political and social factors. One of the main reasons is the widening gap between the rich and poor, resulting in wage stagnation and inequality. This has made it more challenging for people to save for a down payment or qualify for a mortgage. Another factor is the housing market becoming a playground for speculations and investors, driving up prices and reducing availability for ordinary people. Urbanization and gentrification have also contributed to this crisis by increasing demand and limiting supply. Lastly, regulations and taxation laws have created barriers that hinder access to affordable and adequate housing. These issues including zoning restrictions, rent control, property taxes and subsidies that favor certain groups over others. The housing crisis is a pervasive issue with significant implications for individuals, communities and society at large. It manifests in several ways, each with its own set of consequences. A primary consequence of the housing crisis is the surge in homelessness and housing insecurity. The scarcity of affordable and suitable housing has driven numerous individuals to the edge of homelessness or forced them to live in unstable and unsafe conditions. As per the United Nations, the world had an estimated 150 million homeless individuals and another 1.6 billion living in substandard housing in 2018. This condition exposed individuals to a multitude of risks including violence, disease, hunger and exploitation. The housing crisis also exacerbates poverty and debt. The steep cost of housing consumes a significant portion of many individuals' income and wealth, leaving them with minimal or no savings and burdened with substantial debt. The OECD reports that the average household debt-to-income ratio rose from 93% in 2000 to 137% in 2019, and the average housing cost-to-income ratio increased from 21% to 26% during the same period. These financial constraints limit individuals' opportunities and choices negatively impacting their well-being and quality of life. The housing market has also contributed to social and spatial segregation. It has amplified divisions and inequalities among different groups based on income, race, ethnicity, gender, age and other characteristics. A World Bank report indicates that the Global Dissimilarity Index, a measure of spatial segregation, increased from 0 0.49 in 1990 to 0 0.52 in 2015. Such segregation undermines societal cohesion and integration. Lastly, the housing market has significant environmental and health impacts. The residential sector was responsible for 17% of global energy consumption and 19% of global greenhouse gas emissions in 2018. Furthermore, the housing sector has contributed to biodiversity loss, natural resource depletion, and pollution of air, water, and soil. These environmental and health impacts pose a threat to the sustainability and resilience of human and ecological systems. The issue of the housing crisis is a multifaceted and complex problem that requires a comprehensive approach from various actors and stakeholders. It is not possible to find one solution that can be applied to all situations. Several possible alternatives and solutions can be adapted to the specific circumstances and requirements of each case. One of the most pressing and obvious solutions to the housing crisis is to increase the availability and supply of affordable and social housing that is suitable and accessible for low-income and vulnerable groups. This can be achieved by implementing policies that provide public funding and subsidies for the construction and maintenance of social housing, additionally regulating the private rental market to ensure ensure fair and reasonable rents, implementing inclusionary zoning and land value capture policies to encourage the development of mixed income and mixed use communities, and supporting community-led and cooperative housing initiatives such as housing cooperatives, community land trusts and mutual housing associations. Another important solution to the housing crisis is to acknowledge and protect the human right to adequate housing and ensure housing justice for all. This can be achieved by enforcing national and international legal frameworks and standards on the right to housing, establishing and strengthening mechanisms and institutions for monitoring the housing situation, providing legal aid and assistance to victims and defenders of the right to housing, and encouraging the participation and empowerment of affected and marginalized groups in the decision-making and governance of the housing sector. A more radical and visionary solution to the housing crisis is to rethink and transform the way we design and produce housing. Therefore, we need to explore new and alternative forms and models of housing 
that are more sustainable, inclusive and democratic. This can be done by fostering innovation and experimenting in the design and technology of housing, such as modular, prefabricated and smart housing. We can also embrace the diversity and flexibility of housing typology and tenures such as co-housing, co-living and micro-housing. Additionally, we need to challenge the dominant and hegemonic paradigms and narratives of housing, such as home ownership, commodification and individualism. The COVID-19 pandemic, which began in the final months of 2019 and is still ongoing in 2024, has had a significant impact on the housing market and the living situations of millions of people. The pandemic has highlighted and worsened existing problems and inequalities in the housing sector while also creating new challenges and opportunities. Lockdowns and work-from-home arrangements have altered the patterns and preferences of housing demand and supply, leading to a shift from urban to suburban and rural areas and from apartments to houses and cottages. The global economic recession caused by the pandemic has reduced the affordability and availability of housing. However, the stimulus and recovery packages launched by governments and central banks have supported the income and liquidity of many people and businesses, boosting the demand and prices of housing, particularly in high-end segments, and creating concerns about inflation and asset bubbles. The stimulus and recovery packages have also raised questions about the distribution and sustainability of public spending emphasizing the need for a fairer and greener recovery. The impact of climate change on the housing market has been significant and has created both challenges and opportunities. One of the main effects of climate change is the increase in natural disasters such as floods, storms, droughts, wildfires and heat waves which have damaged and destroyed millions of homes and infrastructure and displaced millions of people. The adaptation and mitigation efforts have aimed to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and enhance the resilience of the housing sector to the changing climate. Finally, climate change has also influenced migration and relocation patterns and trends, which affect the housing demand and supply in different regions and areas. Social unrest is a manifestation of people's dissatisfaction with the current status quo and those in power. It has had a significant impact on the housing market affecting the living conditions of millions of people. This unrest has brought underlying issues and inequalities in the housing sector to light and has sparked new movements and dynamics. The main effects of social unrest on the housing market include various forms of protests and riots, targeting the policies and practices of the housing sector. These actions include occupying vacant public buildings and lands, disrupting construction and eviction operations, vandalizing properties and organizing mass demonstrations and strikes. Measures taken include deploying police and military forces against protesters, arresting and detaining activists, imposing curfews and states of emergency and censoring media. However, social unrest has also stimulated changes and reforms aimed at addressing the issues and demands of the housing sector. These actions include negotiation with stakeholders, revising laws and regulations, increasing budget allocation, and implementing and monitoring housing programs and projects. The future of the housing market is uncertain and depends on the choices and actions taken today. Various challenges and questions need to be addressed for the housing market to improve and meet the needs of different segments of society. The supply and demand of housing needs to be balanced with increased and diversified supply and regulated demand to avoid speculation and overconsumption. Affordability and accessibility need to be ensured by reducing and subsidizing the cost of housing and increasing and distributing income and wealth. Quality and adequacy need to be improved and maintained to make housing safe, comfortable and healthy. Sustainability and resilience need to be fostered by reducing environmental and health impacts and adapting to challenges and risks. Lastly, inclusion and diversity need to be promoted by preventing and combating segregation and discrimination and supporting and celebrating inclusion and diversity. In conclusion, the housing market is a crucial and intricate sector that affects the lives of millions of people. The housing crisis is a pressing issue that requires collaboration and participation from various stakeholders. The future of the housing market is uncertain, but it depends on the choices and actions we make today. It is up to us to create a vision for a future where everyone has access to affordable and adequate housing. Let us work together to make this a reality. And that's it for this video. We hope you enjoyed watching it and learned something new. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our future videos. We have more amazing videos coming up, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching and see you next time.